everybody, and here we are again, another edition of Inside the Headset, and I'm at Riverdale High School, and I'm with the head coach of the Riverdale Warriors. It's week two, it's game two, and they face Franklin. Let's go to Coach Christy. Coach, how you doing? Doing well, doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, first off, we turned up fri uh, Saturday, and uh, we did broadcast your game live. It went across uh, uh, the World Wide Web, and basically anybody could view it. We shoved the link out and everything, and we were happy to do to do so. We enjoyed doing it. Uh, rain delay kind of threw us off, yes. but we did not lose, uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute, uh, and we did not lose connection, and I appreciate you and Coach Creasy just supporting and embracing technology because it's where it's going. Yes, it's, a, exactly. it's a natural, gradual step, exactly. and if you can do it and you know how to do it, wow, what a nice you know add-on, just something that you don't have to do anything. I'm doing it all exactly. for you, you know. But other than that, let's break into it. Got the win against Udawa. I thought you had a couple of good players that showed out. Uh, I thought Safan did very Bishop, well. Bishop played well. He did a good job. He led the offense. Uh, he came in. Uh, it's the first game he started. So uh, I thought he was a little bit nervous on the first drive. We took it down Absolutely. on the opening kickoff to their 20. Uh, got a delay game, and I take all responsibility for that delay game. I didn't see uh, – Savion step out of bounds on the kickoff return, and I think I was more excited than the kids. And my headset come off. It, it was just kind of a uh, first-year coach don't get way too excited. So I took the blame for that. Um, but after that, we kind of settled down. Um, we didn't get an end zone. Then we had a mishap on the uh, field goal. Yeah. But the but the defense came out that next series and really set the tone of the game. Uh, to get that block punt, just that shift right there in the in the first quarter. And, and, and throw seven on them. You had the field go. You got that field go, and then just threw seven on them real fast. Uh, now you're up ten to nothing. What did you feel like at that point, Coach? Uh, you know, we, we felt pretty good. Uh, actually, it was uh, fourteen because we missed we missed that. Field That's goal. right. I'm sorry. So we got seven nothing. Then we scored another touchdown. Uh, we felt pretty good, but you never really feel good as being a coach. You know, you always want to put put the gas on. Put the pedal, you know, the metal, and just go, just go with it. And I wanted our kids to play well, and uh, you know, after that uh, punt block, and then Gentry had a good punt return, Gentry Bond. Oh, uh, I thought that set up nice, and I just thought the kids were just. I think I said on Friday they were ready to play. You could just tell by practice and the way things were going. Practice wasn't great on Thursday. It was okay, but it wasn't terrible. Friday, but you're getting tired of beating up yeah. on each other. It's time to go play somebody else besides a scrimmage where. It's not just you're just you know it's a scrimmage. Exactly, and I thought Saturday the way they come in, you could tell they were just ready to play and ready to play somebody else and actually be together as a team and face somebody else. And especially started off at NTSU, you know they were excited. I know the rain kind of halted it a little bit. And I, talk about that as a head coach. You know, you you've been in a delay a game as far as a, an assistant coach, but now you your first game and yeah. now you're in a delay a game and 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 you and you now you're faced with. Okay, what do I tell these guys? Yeah, actually, oh, I've never been in something like that. I've really? never been in a delay game, like, you know, because of thunder, never. And it was all new for me, so we went back in. They all sent us in, and so we went back in, and I kind of treated it as halftime and had the coaches talk to their individual players, and they had meetings, and I kept the kid calm, kids calm. I didn't know how much longer we'd have to wait, so we were trying to figure things out. And you knew, then they told you it'd be 30 minutes, yeah. so then you start clocking, yeah. you know, what can we do in 30 minutes, and then where do we need to shut it off? Yeah. Because the attention span is going to play into this, yeah. no different than out here on the practice field. And, and talk about that different from years ago. Yeah. I felt like, I, I don't know, I'm 49, I'm not trying to, but I felt like my attention span was a little bit longer than yeah. today's child. Um, and that's what I was worried about. Towards the end, they got a little chatter, and I had to get them down. You no, know, to stay in the game mode. And that's what I told them. I said, are we still the same type of team, or have we actually grown? You know, what, what type of team? Are we the same team from last year who couldn't finish in the fourth quarter? Are we the new team that you talk about all the time and going to come out and keep the tone, keep the momentum, and keep going? And they proved me right. They, they were, and they, they played hard. Okay, and um, the big question is, uh, what's changed between that win and then you go Sunday, Monday, here we are at Tuesday. What's changed between now and then? What do you? What are some quick fixes that you know you can do that you saw real quick? Was it just missed assignments or just feet not lined up yeah. right? Or what was some of the things you saw? Yeah, you know, of course, playing on Saturday. You know, you, you, you were jammed. Yeah. yeah, you got shortened today. Yeah, somebody asked me. The kids on the way home were mad because I wasn't smiling on the bus, and all I was thinking about was Franklin. That's all yeah. I could think about. Next game, Donnie Webb. Yeah, yes, and I played for Donnie, and he's a daggum good football coach. So. Uh, 
That's all I could think about. They were like, smile, and I said, man, I really can't. I'm already worried about playing. I enjoyed the win back at the stadium, yeah, boys. It's exactly. on the step two. Exactly. So we came in bright and early, and, you know, stayed late Saturday and worked on, you know, got our things done from Saturday, saw the mistakes we made, and then, you know, started working on Franklin. And the kids came in Sunday and watched a little video with us. Uh, and then, you know, we met as coaches, put our devised our game plan, put it together, and implemented it out here on the practice field yesterday. And, you know, it, we enjoyed the win, but we couldn't let the kids enjoy it too much, like you said, because we got to move on to the next one. Because I keep telling them, if they're enjoying this win way too much, then they'll be disappointed on Friday. Buddy, they'll get their tail ends whipped. Yeah. I mean, there's no question. You just, you know, I mean, you, you know, it's no different than a golf shot or anything else. I just got off the golf course, and when you make that, when you, 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 you got to feed off that win. Exactly. You got to feed off that last shot. You got to feed off that last goal or whatever the sport or the last play you just made. You say, all right, we've got this. Let's build from right here and keep going one more step up. Um, let's talk about Donnie Webb. He'll come in here Friday night, at 7 o'clock, right here at Tomahawk Stadium. What are Riverdale fans going to see out of him? Or is he a spread offense? Is he a wing T? Is he a veer? Is he, what is he like? He runs do? more the option, the veer, the okay. option. He, he, has a, he plays two quarterbacks, six and eight. Both of them played last year. Uh, eight's more of a passer, six more of a runner. Okay. Uh, they controlled. 46 minutes of the 48 against Centennial. Centennial, they, Franklin lost a heartbreaker week one. Um, Centennial. Should they have won, based on what you've seen? Yes. Okay, yes. so you're actually, I mean, actually, I and, got and not against your brother. No, no, no. I mean, you're not saying anything against, that's your brother. Yes. I mean, it's Centennial. So I'm just asking straight up. So, yes. but Franklin should have put that game in the, in yes. the W column. Uh, and Centennial just, in the last minute and hung around. seconds, hung around and made three, actually, four big plays in a minute and 20 and, and come on with the win and, you know. Worked that hard the whole game. They just and never won, quit. They won, never quit. You know, and Franklin's the same size. They're a group of kids that that you don't have big superstars. You got an offensive line, lineman at Franklin that's committed to Georgia, but they got a bunch of kids that play together and play for the community of Franklin. And they work hard. They don't make mistakes. They do not make mistakes on the offensive or defense side. They so low play. penalties. Yes, they're a fundamentally sound football team. And that's what scares you. And that's what hurt us last year because they didn't make mistakes and they capitalized on, on our mistakes last year. Uh, defensively, what do they like to do? 52, 43, 34? Um, they, they'll they go, they play multiple. You know, he's always been an under guy, but he's going to, he, he'll that little dab in the 50 front a little bit. But I, I believe we'll, we'll see the four man front a lot. From him. Uh, money guys, who are they? Talk to us about his numbers. Give me some numbers. Uh, 42 is a big running back. He's a big physical kid. He plays uh, tailback for him. He also plays uh, middle linebacker for him. So they got some kids going both ways, no yeah. different. Well, he, he, yeah, and he, they all, he alternates a little bit on defense, but he's, he's a real physical guy. Um, like I said, eight and six are the, the big guys. And then their right tackle, he's committed to Georgia. He's, he's a big stud. Um, but then again, they just got guys in the secondary that play hard. Special teams, how they gonna look? They, they got consistent? a naked, yeah, they, they got a kicker. That, they've always had a good kicker. Yeah, they always, they always. They've won some games at yeah. the end. Didn't they have a kicker that like went to a college like about five, six, seven years ago, like I a kicker so. that, that, that was just exceptionally mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so Friday night, right here. Yes, sir. Any logistics, anything you wanna to say to the Riverdale fans? I thought they, they, they you had a good group out there. And even, what do you, yeah, even with the weather, I thought the crowd showed up and they had a big support and they hung around even with the 30 minutes of delay, they hung around and they stayed and, and they supported these kids. And, and I think that the school, the kid will be out in force on Friday. Oh, I definitely think so. They're excited for a home game. You've had over 200 views on your highlight view. Yes. That's remarkable. Yes. That's not that's not common. So you've got a lot of momentum driving with this coach. I yes. can't tell you enough. You know, I mean, yeah, and then you yeah, already know. Thanks for the pressure. Uh, thank you. I'll just put I'll just, <laughs> just a couple more a couple yeah. more things. Uh, we're going to turn up here Friday night, seven o'clock. We're going to broadcast that yes, game sure. live. Uh, the link is already out. So. Uh, I want your kids, and uh, I'm going to give it to. I'm going to email Coach Donnie Webb and tell him. I mean, it, you know, for those people from Franklin that aren't having enough, that they don't want to get in the carpet, or still Franklin fans, or maybe they've got something they just can't do and break away, but they still want to enjoy the game. Exactly. We're going to feed that game to them, and, and appreciate everything. it. Oh, we love it. Uh, it's uh, the people. My, my people from Henry County can watch it. Yeah, yeah. Did they did they know it was going on the other night? No, no. I was some of them did. I tried to tell my grandmother. I don't know if she got it working or not. Well, it's, uh, the one thing is, um, the only thing I'll say is, if you lose it, just just try to reload yeah. your page, and that's not nothing. That could, that's mostly on their end. 
uh, it won't be on my end uh, uh, because we see everything kind of going through to the server and then from there we know it's coming out and I've got about five or six people that watch it from start of broadcast to the end so I get text if things start moving bad so I know I've got I've got uh, I've got people out there policing me making sure that we're delivering a good product because we want to do it I mean it's not we don't want to go down I mean you know I mean that's the first thing I can tell you Friday night was a pretty cool experience. We delivered a great game between Smyrna and Laverne. Third quarter, I guess about four minutes left, I ran out of date. So I had the safety mode clicked on my uh, Verizon telephone bill. And so I was so mad, Judy can tell you, I mean, when I left there, I didn't talk all the way home because I felt like, okay, you filmed a great game, Stork. You called a good game from first quarter, second quarter, third quarter with three minutes left, but you didn't finish the product. It's really, I felt like a failure. I mean, I felt like I, I just, I mean, but you know, it was what happened. And so, thought the tower, thought some, a lot of different things. Finally, I just went into my Verizon bill and it said, you got less than a gig left. Well, they, they choked me and that was the end of the day. We got that fixed, we bought some more gig and we went out and we did it Saturday. So we did you all Saturday. But what a great weekend. You know, we, uh, we got to see Siegel and, yeah, and Ravenwood. We saw them on Thursday night. Then saw a great game on, on Friday night between Smyrna and Laverne, and yeah. Smyrna's going to be tough. You already know that. Yeah. When you see them later on down the road, and then we turn around, we saw two great back-to-back -back games. You know your you know your Oakland opponent. Yeah. They did very well as yeah. well. And uh, we appreciate Jackson Northside as well. So Udawa yeah. participating. We're, gl we're glad they got back to wherever they needed to, and the travels were safe. And uh, are are you wanting to do this again? Yes. You you want to do this format again and add more to it? Yes. All right. Well, let's leave it right there. Uh, let's thank faculty, staff, and administration. You, you've got a lot of people that yes, yes, really Mr. support yes. me. Yes, Mr. Nolan does a great job, and all the faculty does a great job, and they all come out of here. The assistant principals do a great job, and it's just it's just a school filled with you know pride with Riverdale football. So we enjoy it. Long-standing tradition. Friday night right here at Tomahawk Stadium, 7 o'clock. Riverdale Warriors and the Frank Franklin, yeah, Franklin Rebels. Y'all be here, and we'll, if not, follow us, and we'll turn it up live.